company. And that company, too, had an earnings decline. Adjusted earnings in the last quarter were down. So right. there's got to be some backdoor story that you're right. looking at. Well, you're right. It's been a laggard. Uh, the company uh, used to uh, uh, be known as Dress Barn. Uh, it was founded by the Jaffe family, a very savvy retailing family. And essentially, uh, it's kind of a soup to nuts retailer. Uh, from the standpoint uh, for the uh, youngsters, that were the tweens, say s age 7 to 14, uh, they run Justice, which is a very, very popular brand, uh, and then uh, Dress Barn. Now, they have been savvy acquirers. They bought uh, Maurice's several years ago, as well as Justice. Uh, and this is a story, uh, as I said before, self-help, uh, consolidation of distribution centers, uh, you also have the purchase of charming shops, which occurred last year. And that's really more in the plus size women uh, demographic, which is probably going to outpace the growth of ladies' fashion uh, retailers in general, Lane Bryant uh, and Catherine's. There is so much low hanging fruit there uh, with regard to margin drivers. You could actually see about 120 basis points of EBIT uh, margin expansion mm -hmm. over the next couple of years. Sentiment is very low on this name. Mm. Uh, so these acquisitions don't necessarily have to be accretive to earnings right away? Not right away, but as I mentioned before, you'll see uh, great enhancements in sourcing purchases of fabrics. The other thing, because of the large store base, they are going to be a pretty savvy and tough negotiator when it comes to uh, leases.